Hello, welcome to Divine Vintage and Antiques. Today I'm going to share with you some of the older jewelry pieces that I have in my collection. I thought you'd enjoy them. Um, I posted them on Facebook on my Vintage Jewelry uh, Appreciation and Vintage Jewelry Collectors groups and everybody seemed to really like them. So I thought I'd put it on a video and share with you the different pieces I have. So this is a piece from Czechoslovakia. It is marked on this tiny little jump ring here. This is a glass piece. You can see some of the glass bubbles uh, in the beads. It's a carnelian color and it's brass. Here's the back. I think it's a really beautiful piece. Um, it's got tiny little brass bead caps on it. So this piece had a lot of vertigree on it when I found it uh, in a very old antique shop in Pennsylvania. And so I did um, treat it with some vinegar to rid the brass of the vertigree. So that's a lovely piece. I also found some similar colored um, earrings, chandelier type earrings that I thought would go nicely with this necklace. So these are lovely chandelier earrings. Now, um, I did put posts on them because I cannot wear clip earrings. And I know some people don't think it's a good idea to change clip on or screw back earrings to post earrings. And I struggle with that concept myself, um, but if I wanna wear my jewelry, I need to change them to post back earrings. Now, if the piece is marked, I will save that marking and, and adhere it to the back of the piece of jewelry so that we can keep the, um, the mark with the jewelry. But look at those, aren't they beautiful? So those are some nice earrings to go with that necklace. Um, I have a bracelet here, and I think this might be Czech... Um, as well. These are some green glass and it's brass. It's got some beautiful um, leaf imagery on it. I don't think this ring, uh, I don't, I actually don't believe this ring uh, class, spring ring class was what was originally on here. I'm thinking it may have been a um, fold over class perhaps but I think it's a very beautiful piece of jewelry. So that goes nicely, the green and the amber color. Now I have a piece of Austrian jewelry here, and this is beautiful green and purple stones and nice filigree. It's on a very delicate chain, and it is marked Austria on the back. Um, and this is a choker style. Uh, every time I wear it, I get a lot of compliments. Look at that beautiful piece. Um, I found this at an antique flea market. This is blue glass and brass. And this has kind of a, it um, doesn't have a fold over clasp, but just has this little loop this little loop clasp. Um, perhaps it lost its clasp, I don't know, but it does work. It holds on. But this is a beautiful blue glass. Um, it's not marked Czech, but I would attribute it to maybe Czechoslovakia. Now I did find this stunning blue and silver tone necklace. Look at that piece of glass. Isn't that incredible? And look at the beautiful setting. Stunning stones. Really, really very, very shiny stones. And here's the back. But isn't that beautiful? I love this necklace. It feels very good on. And to go along with this blue necklace, I did find a variety of different blue glass 
earrings. So these, I am thinking might be French. Look at the beautiful decoration on that glass. And these are screw back. I did not want to change these. I just felt the integrity of the piece should really be compromised if I change these. They're not that uncomfortable. They're a little heavy. Here's the back. But it's a beautiful piece of glass. You can see the back may have had some repair work or maybe they were changed in their design. There's some solder there. but really beautiful earrings to wear with the necklace. So let's move these out a little bit so we have room for some more pieces. Now I have some other blue chandelier earrings. These are definitely from Germany. They are marked um, on, the, on the back, but look at these. Aren't these lovely little glass, molded glass flowers in both satin and clear? They are a lot of fun. Really, really beautiful. And then I have another pair of chandelier earrings, but these are more modern because they have, oops, sorry about that. They have the Aurora Borealis coating on them. Again, I believe these are Czech, Czech glass, and they have a double tier chandelier on them. And I did switch these into post back earrings. Aren't those stunning? Continuing on with the blue jewelry, these are from Czechoslovakia. Um, the woman who sold them to me was Hungarian. She deals with a lot of Czech jewelry, and she told me that this was Czech glass. And looking at the color, isn't that amazing? Look at that beautiful color. And here's the back. Now, I have another piece of blue jewelry. This is from West Germany. This is um, a piece of glass called Perfer glass. I think you spell it P-Y-R-P-H-R -R glass. Um, and this is a beautiful piece. It's very large pendant and on the chain. It did get, uh, it was broken. So I just put the clasp on right there. Um, I'm not sure if this chain actually goes with it because it's a very different gold color. Um, so I haven't played around with fixing this too much. And here's the back. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful on the back and it's beautiful on the front. And I have a piece of a Czech brooch, Czech glass brooch. Now this one, the coating, I think it must have been silver plated. It looks like the silver plating has come off and there's some copper showing through. But look at that glass, that is beautiful. So sparkly. And I love the little bows on the side. Now, I did take um, uh, an old brooch and I made a beaded necklace similar in style to the Czech necklaces. And I kept the brooch part attached so that I could always take it off and wear it as a brooch. But that's a very pretty piece as well. So moving into some red jewelry, I did the same thing with another piece. So this is a brooch um, and I added some beads to it. And I did use some vintage beads and some modern new beads. So 
So let's move some of this away. I have two red brooches here that I think are attributed to Germany or Czechoslovakia. This is actually a dress clip. And it has some beautiful stones and beautiful filigree work. Um, one could put a chain on here and make it into a pendant or wear it as a fur clip, uh, I'm sorry, a dress clip. So that's a nice piece. And then uh, here's another brooch. Again, that West German, Austrian, or Czech style. Prong set stones. But look at that beautiful filigree. And here's the back. I don't see it labeled at anything, but it certainly is of the style of Czech jewelry or West German jewelry. So I also found this amazing clear glass pendant, and this is steel cut pieces on here. And this is just metal and the steel cut. So this dates, I'm thinking late 1800s, but look at the beautiful faceted stone. Could it be quartz? I don't know, is it quartz, is it glass? That's something I have to learn more about. If you know the difference or how to tell the difference besides using a gem tester, let me know in the comments. But look at that beautiful, beautiful piece of glass. So now we're going into the purples. So this is another Czech necklace. It's a purple Czech necklace. And it has some gorgeous beads on it. And a gorgeous triangular piece of glass. And this again, like the first piece I showed you, is marked on that tiny little jump ring. Czechoslovakia. Again, this is a choker style, and it's lovely because this piece of glass rests right at the base of the throat. I recently acquired this piece. This piece, I think, is quite a bit older. I think it's from the late 1800s as well. This is brass and purple glass and real pearls, and the pearls are set on a spoke. So they've been drilled, and the spoke has gone into the pearls and holding them in place. This piece is also interesting because it's got the old jump ring, um, sorry, the old spring ring, that is holding the pendant on and holding the brass chain on. So I've never seen that before. Maybe somebody's creation, or maybe that's the way pieces used to be in the late 1800s. It's a beautiful brass chain and just the right length so that everybody can see that beautiful pendant against your chest. Um, I found this other purple necklace is very, very delicate. This is more of an Art Nouveau style pendant. Again, I think it's just costume. It may be reproduction. And this is on a very delicate chain with pearls and purple crystals. Now, along with these beautiful necklaces, we need some earrings to go with them. So I have a pair of screw back chandelier earrings, again, from West Germany. These have the same molded glass beads. Maybe these are called waterfall earrings. I think that's the name of them, waterfall versus chandelier. 
and they're marked on the back, West Germany. So we'll put those over here. And I have some other Czech jewelry. Now these are uh, beautiful crystals. These are screw back, but these do not like to stay on my ears. So I am trying to decide if I wanna switch them to pierced setting and saving the marking and attaching the marking to the back as well with the pierce setting. But I just, since they just don't stay on my ears, they fall off. Sometimes when these jewelry is so old, the, the um, screw backs um, get, get um, worn out and they don't stay at, um, tight. But look at those, aren't they beautiful? So we'll put those over here. And here's another pair of purple earrings. These are very, very delicate little flowers. Oops, throwing that one around. Um, so these are lovely little flowers with purple rhinestones. And I left them as screw backs as well. But they are very beautiful, very dainty. And a third pair of earrings that are purple and have pearls on them and some Japaned black finish. And these I did switch to pierced because uh, their screw backs were totally worn out. But look at how beautiful those are. And a pair of earrings that I made using some vintage crystals are right here. I used some recycled parts and then these crystals are Czech crystals, the light lavender colored ones. But I thought those were very beautiful and in the same style. And I have um, another necklace that I made using some vintage pieces. So this is a brooch, again, of that same, same filigree style with the purple glass. And I left the brooch pin on the back. And then I added some vintage beads that I purchased at a shop that supplies vintage beads. And I added these two little findings. These are actually earrings that I took the back off and used in this necklace. They're purple cabochons, very, very dark purple cabochons. And look at the delicate decoration on the side. And some more vintage beads and a recycled chain. So there's that lovely necklace. And I have a beautiful brooch that my husband gave to me. This is a lovely glass brooch. I would think this dates to the early 1900s, maybe the late 1800s, but it does look like it had a different brooch on the back, a different pin, because there's a lot of solder and the base of the pin is unusual. I'm wondering if it might've been a pendant. Wouldn't that be beautiful hanging on a chain? But I really don't know. You can always add a chain to your pin and make it into a pendant. So isn't that beautiful? Look at the color in that glass. And then I have a piece of, I believe, Germany, West Germany, um, uh, because it is marked West Germany. This is a brooch. This is pearls and a purple cabochon and some purple rhinestones. It's got the filigree and prong set um, cabochon. And on the back here by the pin, it is marked West Germany. 
beautiful filigree on the back. Um, what is interesting about this is the pearls are not solid pearls, but they have holes in them to be strung. And I contacted my Facebook group, the West German and Austrian Facebook group, and I said, why are there holes in these pearls? Do you think somebody added these pearls later? And many other uh, members of the Facebook group said that their jewelry as well from West Germany had these pearls with the holes in them. So that's very interesting to me. I don't know, but it's a beautiful brooch. So this is some of the jewelry I thought you would enjoy that I posted on Facebook. And um, also I like to collect this older um, Czech, West Germany, Austrian jewelry with all the beautiful glass and crystals. So thanks so much for spending some time with me and I'll be posting some more videos of my other collections. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and a happy new year.